everybody, I am Sandy Sides. A lot of people have been asking how my transparent art is made, so I decided to make a video instead of just having that really weird word post. Uh, really quickly, I just wanted to let everybody know that I have changed accounts on my Sandy Sides blog, so please go ahead and follow for new updates and new posts, especially for arts and all that other coolio stuff. Here's my tutorial on how I make my transparent art. So, first thing that I do is I go into Sci Paint Tool, or Paint Tool Sci. A lot of people call it different things. And I have two layers. I like to make a color layer and an invisible layer. The color one, I usually draw it in color, a bright color that can easily be seen against white. A really weird speed paint of a sad moment. I like to try and switch up the characters, give everybody a little bit of love every now and then. I don't think I've done a pattern one recently though, I should change that. Anywho, I start off with my usual sketches and then I go into the line art more detailed. I try to avoid coloring excessively because then that could break the illusion of the white space. I like just to do line art. It's easy, it's fast, but also because there's a lot of blank space naturally, so it doesn't look weird that there's just tons of white space which we'll want if we want to make something invisible. Any white space will become transparent in the end, and once it's clicked on, the white space turns into the black background that Tumblr likes, and that will reveal our white ink for our invisible art. I added a black background, that way I can see when I draw in white ink. I like to start off with small facial expressions, that way when I go over it in white ink I can make a bigger smile or happy eyes. I decided to scrap the happy eyes, and you can't have Roman without a crown. How do you draw art? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, bada boom. Now I'm done with side paint tool. I'm going into Photoshop now. As you can see, the checkerboard means it's transparent. I still have my black and my white background so I can see what it looked like before and after being clicked on. I found out that Tumblr Mobile will turn anything black, it will go away. Black will vanish when it's clicked on. On the PC, it just turns it into like a grayish color. So be careful what you pick. Um, and now, yeah, I'm checking to make sure that everything's good. And one thing that I dislike about Paint Tool Sci is it doesn't have text capabilities. So that's why I usually go into Photoshop for this. Gives some cursive writing. 
and then I turned it into like a grayish color. That way I know for sure that it will be more or less invisible once it's clicked on. Awesome. Now it's important you see the checkerboards. Make sure you don't accidentally export it with the backgrounds. And then file, save as. I usually export, save as for web. Make sure that it's PNG 24 and the transparency box is clicked. Then I go into Tumblr and I act like I'm about to post it, but not really. <laughs> I like to, you know, add all my details and stuff and then save as draft, you know, save draft. Then I go into my drafts and I act like it's been posted. I click on it, make sure I don't have any weird white dots. I've had that happen to me a couple times. Just make sure that when it's clicked on, it looks all right and then post it. Bada bing. That's how I make my transparency art. Um, and there you go. Woohoo. Go at it. Have fun. Make the angstiest stuff you can make or the fluffiest stuff you can do. And we can all create stuff together. Yahoo!